Hi, Sandra here from Create in Spain and today's card is going to be using a stenciled background. Now what I've done here, and ignore the gold on here for the moment, I have stenciled onto a sheet of acetate. I really love this kind of transparent look that you'll get if you do this. And what I use to get that effect is this Liquidex Gloss Gel. It's quite thick, doesn't smell of anything, it's a good quality gel, it's an artist grade product and it's something that I like to keep in my stash. So I made a stencil using a file divider, cut it out on my silver bullet and I then did the stenciling onto a piece of acetate and I allowed it to dry overnight and the following day I decided to see what else I could do with it. And what I discovered is with this stuff, you can actually add gold highlights or foiled highlights at least, whatever color you want. And I've left it over the paper so you can see it a bit easier. Now this is just a scrap of gold foil and just got a normal, nail tool that I use for all sorts of things in crafting and it will actually stay on the image which is rather interesting because I can imagine making tags from this stuff and then just using a tool to stencil the greeting. I think that would be rather interesting and I might well give that a go later on. But I decided this kind of looks a little planetary and I just thought it was a fun thing to do. So the only thing I've got here which I don't really want is my initial S on there but I can't seem to get rid of it so once it's on there I think it's probably on there for good. However, apart from that I want to put it onto a white background. But this doesn't have any colour to it at all at the moment because I didn't tint the gel. You can tint the gel with watercolours, with your normal ink pads, anything that is water based you can tint it with, it's fine. So what I've got here are some alcohol pens and what I'm going to do is to use them on the back. If you're colouring on the back of this and you get colour where you don't want it, you can just use a cotton wool bud with some alcohol on the tip and you can wipe it off. So basically, whatever mistakes you make, you can get rid of if you're doing them on the back. I think you find them a bit more difficult to get rid of if you did it on the actual gel. So that's a lot more colourful than the original plain image was. But I want to add some more colour to that. Now I'm thinking I might just put a black background on here. I've decided it's going to look better with a black background. So I've put a piece of black paper on my card base. And then I just need to put this on the top, roughly in the middle. Now, what I'm going to use to secure this are some little mini dots. Right, let's see if I can get this in the middle. Uh, I think that's about it. There we are. So that's the card base done and all I need to do now is add my sentiment. I think that's quite a nice design for guys. It's got colour in it but it's definitely not too feminine and it's just a little bit unusual. I've stamped a sentiment with Versmark and embossed it with gold embossing powder. And the final touch, once I've put that on with double-sided foam tape, is to put a tiny little star just there. And there. So that's it, card completed. I think that's a really nice one for the guys. Now this card is being done in the same sort of way. It has a stenciled image 
on acetate and I've put it on top of some pink card. This has got a slightly mauvey tint to the gel. Now you could, of course, if you wanted to, use sequins or rhinestones, that sort of thing on here. If you compare that to the starting off point, that suddenly pops, whereas it didn't pop before. And it's almost like you've got it studded with metal nails. I think that's an interesting effect. So all I need to do is find a sentiment for this one. I think I'll go for something quite big and splashy. I've decided that what I would like to do with this card is to give it a silver foil edge. Now that I have foiled the edge with double-sided sticky tape and put it onto the card base, all I need to do now is to put my sentiment on. And I've cut this from silver glitter card. And all I'm going to do is put some double-sided foam tape on the back of that to raise it up a little bit, and then the card will be finished. So that's my second card done with the acrylic gel background. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Please share and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.